everybody. It sounds like Sabbath is still giving us a hard time. So I'm sending you your lesson today in this book. Learning the World by Christine O'Connell George. I'm memorizing oceans, tracing rivers, learning mountain ranges. I'm memorizing capitals, tracing countries, learning crops and industries. I'm smoothing out this map, rolling it into a tube, peering through one end, wishing it were a telescope, wishing I could see past my street, wishing I could see the whole world spread beneath my feet. Notice the punctuation. We see commas after some of these lines and we find periods. We even see this little gap. So you can tell that the speaker is pausing here for a longer pause. These are some shorter pauses. These, this is a longer pause. And then the space helps us to know that there's been a little bit of a change in thought. Maybe it's a change in location. Maybe it's a change in ideas, but let's find out. So here in this stanza, stanza one, this is a list of things that the speaker has memorized by looking at what? What can we assume? Write that down for number one. What can we assume that he's looking at here? Memorizing oceans, tracing rivers, learning mountain ranges, memorizing capitals. Okay, so let's look and see how there's a change in thought. I'm smoothing out this map, rolling it into a tube, peering through one end, wishing it were a telescope. So we see up here the details on the map that the speaker is focused on. Lots of examples of things on the map. Then the change in thought shows us that now he's feeling the actual map it's, itself. He smooths it out, then he rolls it into a tube, and he peers through an end, wishing it were a telescope. Look at this repetition, wishing, 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 that really emphasizes what he, obviously, what he is wishing for. It really calls attention that he was really wishing for the whole world. In fact, he even says that, wishing I could see the whole world spread beneath my feet. Now notice the figurative language. What figurative words and phrases in stanza two help you create a mental image of an object that the speaker holds? Write down a couple of them. This, wishing it were a telescope, comparing a map and a telescope to help us get that image of it being rolled up. Or maybe you found this one, wishing I could see the whole world spread beneath my feet. To me, that really gives me an image. It helps us to imagine the way that a map is spread. We can almost picture everything that's so pretty in the world spread beneath his feet. It really helps us get a good image in our minds of a map. Take a look at the next poem today. Latitude, longitude, dreams. That's already making me think of a map. Remember, latitude and longitude are these lines. These are latitude, these are longitude on a map. So we think that this might have a connection to the last one we just read. Um, the poet's names are Drew Lamb and James Hildreth. But remember, the poet is different than the speaker. So Magellan. Remember we learned some of the early explorers, one of them was named Magellan. Magellan moved via stars, steered his ship by celestial rays. Columbus sailed on over the edge, discovering lands and waterways. They traversed their dreams, set their course, voyaging over oceans and seas, etching earth with invisible designs, crossing rivers, ice, and trees. These lines that slide from pole to pole, wrapping around the watery girth, coordinate all of us on this globe, our home, our ship, our planet Earth. Okay, now, if you were able to get into Savas, then I want you to mark the rhyming words in the stanzas. 
Um, if you weren't and you're, you are able to print this up, you can still do that. If not, then I'm gonna have you write that down on number four. Just write the rhyming words instead. Look at stanza one again, and notice the word via. What context clues around the word via might help you to know what it means? Magellan moved via stars. Notice the word traversed. They traversed their dreams and set their course. Traverse means to travel through or move across. So we, are, we know that they're already talking about voyaging. That's one context clue around traverse um, and setting their course. Let's try one more context clue. Let's look down here in stanza three. These lines that slide from pole to pole, wrapping around the watery girth coordinate all of us on this globe. Let's find out what girth means. What words around girth help you to know what it means? Probably wrapping around, wrapping, and we think of around and we think of wrapping. Watery, we already know that the blue parts of a map are the waters. So what are the latitude and the longitude lines wrapping around. Watery what? 